Hi guys, it's Amy. I was able to get chemo number two last week. I did it at MD Anderson West location, which is near Highway 6. It's a very beautiful facility. It felt like a fancy hotel lobby. I did not feel like it was a cancer care hospital. So good job to MD Anderson for that. I think it's probably my favorite one so far. I'll be going back if I can. I was able to receive chemo because my absolute neutrophil count went from 220 to almost 3000. I think all the bone marrow soups and the veggies and the smoothies really helped. So I now know what to do in the future. It was my first time sitting in a treatment chair instead of a bed and I really liked it because there's back support and it's just more ergonomically speaking better I think. I was a little emotional because it was my first time seeing someone poke a needle to get access to my port. Last time the doctor who performed the port surgery already had that done for me so it was a really easy process but this time the nurse had to feel around and it was uncomfortable. It still feels like there's a foreign object in my body so I, I freaked out, cried a few tears, probably scared the nurse but uh, she was very kind and forgiving so thankful for that as well. The second day was okay but day three I think that's kind of the day where I usually feel the worst. Day three is when I felt really nauseous. I didn't want to eat. Um, I slept in bed a lot that day and it was worse than the first time. I don't know if it's progressively going to get worse or if because I was inactive that day, if that's why I was feeling so nauseous despite all the, the nausea medication I was taking. So next time I am going to make a note to myself to keep moving and to keep eating. This week was also very hard for me, mentally speaking. Went to a lot of dark places in my mind, in a lot of what if situations. And what's been helpful are people who have unexpectedly checked in or I've connected with or um, past coworkers too. They have sent some uplifting cards and gift cards and so I'm really appreciative of the past coworkers that I either worked with or supported. They have been still keeping me in their prayers even though I'm not actively in front of them working. So I'm really thankful for my previous work family. Next week, I will receive chemo number three again if everything goes well. I'm hoping that my white blood cell count is good. I'm hoping that the ultrasound results from yesterday come out and that it shows shrinkage of the tumor because that means that this treatment is working. Um, also hoping that I am able to be a better resource for others. I've decided to record a few more videos where I share my tips and tricks either for MD Anderson, mammograms, or what to do after chemo to help make yourself feel better. So stay tuned for those videos. I will be creating them so that I can help others as I also learn this journey as well. And thank you for all my new subscribers for subscribing to this channel. Uh, it started as just a tell tale of my breast cancer journey. I did not think we would get to 380 subscribers. So thank you guys. It means the world to me. Until next time. Bye guys.